Hello, welcome to or welcome back to Walk About China. I am back. I had an amazing two weeks with my family in Thailand. Um, I literally got back off the plane yesterday, so I'm sorry that my newest video is a day late, but I didn't have any access to any of my equipment in order to create the video. Now, this week, I'm going to do something very different and I'm not going to talk for a very long period of time. Um, as you saw at the beginning of the video, there is a little disclaimer with this one because I am giving you a tour of my local supermarket. Now, you may want to know what sort of products you can buy, what it's like in the supermarket, and I thought now would be a good time to show you. Now, before I cut to the little tour, I just want to explain that there are various types of supermarkets in China. The one I'm going to is not an import supermarket. So don't expect to see lots of Western products everywhere. This is just your typical mill of the run or run of the mill, sorry, Chinese supermarket, which anyone will go to. Um, I can at a later date show you what an import, import supermarket will look like. Um, but I thought let's keep it real. Let me show you what my supermarket literally five minutes down the road has to offer. Now, I will cut into the video after a few minutes just because I want to give you a quick little disclaimer from myself before we continue as there is something as a part of this video that you probably may not experience in your local supermarket if you're not living in China. Perhaps if you're in other Asian countries you will have a similar experience but I know from my point of view in the West, in UK specifically, this was not something we had in our supermarkets. So I will pause at that moment just to jump in. Um, but other than that, enjoy and I'll see you during the video. Okay, so this is the first thing I come to when I go to my local supermarket. It's the fresh produce section for fruits and vegetables and other refrigerated goods. And there's always loads of fresh produce available. It is very seasonal. So sometimes you will find some products can only be found at uh, certain months of the year, like strawberries. And I think we call them hawthorn berries in the UK. Um, but I don't know what they're called in other places. You can find all of your salad vegetables, cooking vegetables, etc, etc. Um, but also you will find coming up here that there are things like Bowser, which I think in the UK we call bao buns. I am going to buy some only because I have these for breakfast quite often. But also there is a huge variety of tofu. Now tofu here, you will see as we walk along, there's about 30 different types from silken, firm, stinky, uh, tofu skin and then you will find your processed meats so things like sausages which are not like the UK or in the US they're, they're very very different here in China you will find bacon um, and also other processed meats like hams and luncheon meats and things like spam you will then have a meat section. Now, they will usually have pork, beef, chicken, and duck available. There's a butcher behind the seafood counter I'll show you later who cuts this all up. But don't always expect to find lean cuts of meat. They will simply just cut off pieces from the animal and then... Okay, so I said that I was going to pause as part of the tour and just have a quick discussion with you guys. Um, the reason for this is what you're about to see is live animals, um, particularly aquatic animals. And I am going to talk about uh, animal butchery as part of the next section of the tour. Now, the reason why I've paused for a disclaimer is this is very, very common in China. In fact, you'll see in pretty much any supermarket these things exist. Now, on my travels, having been to the Philippines and Thailand and Vietnam, this is actually quite common amongst Asia. And this is the fact that a lot of seafood will be alive at the point of purchasing. And actually, the staff that work in the supermarkets will butcher them for you. And this is because there's a lot of um, thinking out here about fresh being the best. Of course, we all know that having fresh produce is really, really good for you. Um, but most people in the west say the uk usa canada may not be used to choosing live animals having it slaughtered in front of you and prepared for you to take home so if you do not like seeing images of live animals in supermarkets i would say skip the next minute maybe two minutes um and then we'll go back to the rest of the tour now please know that i have not 
uh, included any video footage of any animals being slaughtered in this video. I am an animal lover, I wouldn't do that. I know some people are very against seeing those sort of things. But I am going to raise something that I saw in the supermarket as I was walking around. So be prepared to hear that, or if not, skip two minutes ahead. So this is the seafood area where almost all of the animals available are alive. They are kept in tanks with constant water flow and oxygen pumping through. Um, this is actually one of the better supermarkets in regards to care of the sea life. Um, as you can see in the tank that we just passed, there were some mini crabs. And I have experienced in some other supermarkets where these crabs are tied up using string um, and then just left on a, a little board of water. But this one, they seem to be free moving. Um, they do offer seafood that's also frozen, but I tend to find not many people buy that as much as the fresh seafood. Um, across from the fish, there will also be a counter with lots of different uh, shellfish. So here you can see there'll be things like mussels. There will be um, sometimes sea urchin, some types of shrimp, and you simply tell them how much you want and they bag them up. Now, I'm not going to show what I saw um, as part of this tour uh, on the video but I actually saw one of those two women that we just passed purchase a fish from the counter and it was interesting to see how they actually go about butchering them so the woman who works behind the counter actually netted the fish and then slammed it down on the floor um, obviously to kill the fish before gutting and descaling it for the woman to take home now, I know some people are going to be like, I can't believe they did that. But actually, when you think about it, the way of butchering that animal was very, very quick um, quite painless compared to other ways that they could have died. But um, I'm not making any judgments. I know our food is alive at some point and will need to be butchered. Um, it just so happens here in the supermarkets, they tend to butcher the seafood for you. But this area here, I just wanted to show you that Actually, we don't have a big freezer section in Chinese supermarkets. I've noticed since being here that not many of my friends um, buy frozen goods unless it's ice cream or perhaps, say, dumplings or bowser, bao buns. Um, other than that, there's, there's not a huge range. There's a couple of convenient foods, but a lot of people either cook for themselves or go to local restaurants. And in this section here, it's really interesting to see how the dairy market has blown up in China over the last few years. So I remember when I first came to China in 2018, dairy was available, but the section was nowhere near as big as it is now. Things like yogurt and milk have had a massive explosion in the Chinese market. And pretty much this whole fridge section behind me here is full of dairy. The only thing that they don't do well in China, unless you go to an import market, is cheese. So if you are looking for cheese, don't expect to find things like cheddar. You will find things like, um, you know, the plasticky cheese singles. I think in America they call them craft cheese. You will find things like that and possibly mozzarella. But you won't find things like cheddar or, um, say, Red Leicester. Uh, in import supermarkets, you may find brie and camembert, but not much else. Now, in the middle of the section amongst the fresh produce, you'll find lots of uh, these counters and they're just usually your grains that you can measure yourself into bags. There'll be nuts, there'll be different types of tea. This part here is different sugars and cinnamon sticks and peanuts as well. Um, as well as you'll see that but, uh, previously there was an egg counter. Um, only some of the eggs are refrigerated here, but I think it's because they treat their eggs differently to, say, some other countries where they're not treated. So you have to be careful with salmonella. Um, but I just want to show you here, this was uh, part of the cheese counter. They have these like child cheeses that you can buy for kids. And they're very sweet. So they're more like... Um, almost like, yeah, like sweets or candy rather than cheese. Typically in an Asian supermarket, you are going to find a large rice area. So in this section, you will find here the big bags of rice as well as bags of flour that people will use to make bread, uh, bowser and jowza, which are dumplings. 
But coming up now, I'm about to show you the bakery section. And this is quite small. Um, and most supermarkets in China do have a small bakery section. But one thing to note is the bread here is not like bread in the West. I actually make all my own bread at home. And that's because a lot of the breads I find in Chinese supermarkets are enriched doughs. So they contain things like milk, eggs and sugar. And uh, a lot of Westerners I find um, or have spoken to say the same things like you go to make a sandwich and the bread's sweet. So it's not the same as what you would get perhaps in the UK or maybe the USA. So this other half of the supermarket is where you would find all of your condiments, your oils and uh, other goods like sauces for cooking. One thing that's coming up, which I found really surprising here, is the cost of cereal. Now, cereal is not a very common thing eaten in China. It's not like what they have for breakfast. A lot of the breakfast they have here will be things like Bowser or cooked items or rice. But cereal in UK terms would be about four pounds for a bag and is generally filled with things like oats and some very unusual grains, which I've never had for breakfast. So I generally steer clear of cereal um, here unless I'm having a real craving for it and instead I will typically eat the same as the local people things like Bowser maybe coffee or tea and here I'm just showing you some of the goods that you can buy if you're going to do Chinese cookery some of the chili sauces some of the stocks available um, as well as things like peanut butter peanut butter seems to be quite a popular thing here in China and in this aisle, you will find a lot of pickles. Now, pickles in China are not the same as the pickles I would buy in the UK. Things like uh, big jars of gherkins or pickled onions. Instead, they pickle any type of vegetable and then they seal them in bags. And this is used in a lot of Chinese cookery. For example, um, a dish that I quite like, and I'm really sorry for my pronunciation is awful for anyone who might be Chinese, but I think it's called Suan Tai Yu which is like pickled fish and they put that in and that's a really really nice dish it sounds like it might be uh not not something you'd like but actually when you try it it's it's actually a very nice meal and this is really interesting going down the noodle section um to find bags of pasta which i don't know many people um out of my chinese friends who eat pasta but to have it available was nice it was a little surprise for me when i first came here um obviously being a, a new foreigner in china i wasn't sure if i'd find things that i'd be able to eat but actually to have some small uh things like pasta available was really really helpful in my first few days in china now, this aisle is probably the most popular I find in supermarkets, and these are your instant noodles. I am very surprised at how popular these are here. Knowing how easy it is to um, boil noodles or cook your own, people seem to love these, and especially when they're traveling. I found people will take pots of them with them because you usually find hot water is available in lots of places, even in train stations. And it's a quick and easy meal for some people. Now, I'm going to pause talking here. I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of the tour, um, which is going to go down some of the dairy aisle and then into the alcohol section. I will finally show you the self-checkout at the end um at the rest of the tour but you can also check out with a person if you wish to um and i will just let you enjoy the rest of the tour okay see you next time